So this is the timber I'm going to be using to make the rabbit hutch. These are all off cut pieces of timber I had left over from um, different projects. So they're all sort of a different thickness but that's not going to make any difference. These bigger bits I'm going to use for the uprights. These smaller bits I'm going to use for the cross sections. And then these smaller little bits here that I've cut I'm going to use for making the door frames. I got these by just cutting a length of timber like this one down the center using the table saw. So that's the front section and the back section of the hutch put together. I just screw this top section on first. I then put on the bottom rail and then I just screwed in this division. Which is, as I was saying earlier about it doesn't matter about the thickness of the timber. As long as you keep the front, as long as you keep the front bit flush you're never going to see the back part of it, so it won't matter. Next thing I'm going to do is to join the front and and back section together. To join this front section to the back section, I'm going to be using this piece of timber here, but the screws I have aren't long enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a drill bit, which is a little bit bigger than the head of the screw. And I'm going to countersink it in about an inch, so I have this tape marked. So then when I do use the screw, the screw will be actually able to go into there. So we'll have that much to grab the other piece of timber. I also have the back countersunk like I had to do with the front so the screws can go in far enough to catch the timber. So that's basically the frame of the hutch put together. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting on the sides, the back and the floor. Uh, I'm going to use plywood for that. So that's the plywood cut for one side of the hutch. I'd use these clamps to hold it down while cutting it, it makes it a lot easier. Here I'm using the clamps again just to hold the, the side panel in position just so I can get it secured with a couple of screws. So this is going to be the bottom for the hutch. Um, but I'm going to have to cut out all these slots for it to um, fit in. What I'm going to use, this is an off cut that I had left over. I'm just going to put that in the corners. I'll draw around that and then cut it out so it should be a tight fit. So that's the bottom put into the hutch. I also have the back put onto it. Uh, you can see there where I cut out the slots so the bottom could fit into it. Next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the bit, the panel that goes here, 
Um, I already have it cut out. What I did was just using the jigsaw, I just cut out this door. So that's that panel put on now. I also have painted the outside of the hutch and I put in the this divider here and just the same thing using the jigsaw just to cut out the doorway in it. So this is going to be the frame for the main door of the hutch. The timber I'm using for this is the timber that was split using the table saw. What I want to make sure is that I keep the plain side out. You can see there's the side that was that was um, against the blade, so we want that facing into the hutch and the clean side facing out. So I'm going to hang the main door now. I'm going to use these screws to rest the door on, so it'll give it enough height that it won't catch when you're opening and closing it. I already have the hinges put on through the door, it makes it easier. we have the same distance all around For the roof I'm going to be using uh, this plywood and also this tin sheet of metal that has um, a protective coating on it. Uh, the best thing about using this instead of felt is that you'll never have to replace this, it'll last a lifetime. And what I'm going to attach that uh, to the plywood with is, um, is these type of screws with um, to have a washer and then this type of rubber seal when this is screwed down this this rubber expands and it makes it waterproof or watertight so that's the roof nearly finished now what I've got I've got these little caps that just go over the tops of the screws like that finish it also I have this small strip of timber that I'm going to be putting around the front and the two sides. That's the roof finished now. See these little strips of timber that I've put around the side and around the front. And what I've done is I've left a little lip over the top and I just put a, sea, a bead of silicone all around just to make sure that it's completely watertight. And there you can see the caps that I just put over the heads of the screws. So now I have the roof on the hutch. This roof I don't have it secured, it's just it's just left sitting on top of the hutch. And the other last thing I did was I put on this door, which is where the rabbit will be sleeping. And that's it. That's the rabbit hutch med. That's just one way you can make a rabbit hutch. This hutch took me a day to make. And it is quite easy to make this type of hutch.